Hello everyone, we're back at IPL5 at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. This is the final day of our $100,000 Shoot Mania tournament. We're starting with a crazy best of five semifinal between Colwyn and Planet Express. Planet Express last night uh, was 2-0 against a 2-0 Fnatic squad, and they had some of the best games we've seen all weekend long. Colwyn actually played amazing in their group as well. They ended up winning the group with a score of 2-1, only dropping games to SK Gaming. And uh, SK is actually waiting for them on the other side of the semifinal bracket. Maybe we could have some rematch action happening in the finals. We'll have to see. But are you excited for this match, Alex? I'm pumped. I hope you guys out there in the crowd, you know, as everyone's filing in, is excited for it as well. We got the one guy with the stick out there. That's what's up. I love it. And let's go ahead and hop into the action now as we're going to be kicking off Cohen versus Planet Express. And AKM is going to be a attacking first for this team. Yeah, AKM hopefully going to waste no time for his squad if he can manage to light up these defenders as quick as he can, build a nice advantage for Colwyn. That's going to put put their minds at ease a little oh, wow. bit, but Tailspin already uh, rejecting him on that front, bouncing him back from the defender's cubby with that first opening rocket. Now AKM searching around the left side for some other defenders, going to have to scope out uh, basically all this area over by the cage, make sure no defenders are lying in wait. Tailspin uh, spotted again in the cubby, so AKM is going to try and isolate him and take him out. He does, but he he trades another armor for it. Suddenly, AKM down to just one armor. Attacking in. Time is ticking down. We've got two defenders back at the point. Uh, Buds and Vince representing Planet Express. And now that the cap is open, AKM is going to try and get an open shot near the goal. He doesn't oh, get nice. it. And Buds hits him with a nice cross shot. Yeah, that was actually a really good play there uh, by Tailspin. You know, his whole job was pretty much just to cut off that right side of the map and, and not allow uh, the attacker to be able to gain that, uh, you know, ground as, uh, at that early stage of the round. And he did a great job. You know, yesterday when I was casting with Rafa, he actually said, you don't challenge Tailspin in the cubby. And, uh, you know, it showed right there. He's a, gr he's a great cubby player. He knows exactly what he needs to do. He has great timing with the Rockets. And now it's going to be Buds here, who Tailspin said is playing his best on land. So let's see if he's going to do it here. Of course, dealing with this low ping um, is a, probably a godsend here for Buds as he's just hitting shots that are just unnatural. But uh, let's see here as Buds now trying to get the lay of the land. And of course, you know, he does manage to find one. He does on laser. He is going to miss it. It seems as if Buds now is just going to get pretty much to see where his next uh, his next laser is going to hit. You know, just trying to line up some shots right now. And you can actually see it there as he tried to do that. But there's a lot of pressure there as uh, Buds needs to be careful. He does manage to lose one armor. And he is getting pressed down pretty hard here as Wins is able to land two. The goal can now be captured. And this is a pretty even matchup here between both teams defensively and offensively. You know, no one can make any headway. Nice stuff there by Sturmy to end that one. Taking out Buds. Now we're going to have Wins tacking for Colwyn. Yeah, both of our teams actually have been here warming up for, uh, you know, about an hour or two before the match. They are getting used to the stage setup, getting used to the server itself. This is a, a very, very low ping server that we've got set up inside the room here. Wins uh, attacking now for Colwyn. These guys still, uh, I'm not sure if they've actually been able to play a scrimmage match this morning or anything like that, though. So they are still probably coming in cold uh, as far as a competitive match, you know, hopping around the map. You know, getting your settings right, uh, getting used to all the setup, that's one thing, but actually playing against some very skilled opponents is entirely another. Wins, whipping on the first shot in the cubby, Tailspin does punish him for Ooh. it. There's a uh, ends in a trade, though, as Wins does take out Tailspin. He's going to move around the left side, find Buds down near the goal, and Vince back near the column. Uh, Wins is going to have to be careful peeking out of here. He does get out safe without taking any more damage and, uh, you know, whips a shot at Buds. Buds punishes him for it, and just one armor left on Wins. This could actually be the end of the round in just a moment. Time is ticking down. He actually nabs the kill on Vince. Buds versus Wins. Next wow. shot, Wins. Wins. Wins, wins, wins. That's all I can wins. say. Wins. <laughs> uh, wins attack round number one in the bag for Colwyn. This is a best of five series. Want to remind everybody the way the maps work. Basically, Collided was uh, randomly chosen uh, by one of our administrators, and that's going to be the first map for both semifinals today. After that, it is loser picks. We do only have a six-map pool, and this could go all the way to a fifth game. So. We could be seeing possibilities uh, are endless. Yeah, there are some <laughs> you know maps in the pool that perhaps teams won't be as comfortable on. There are going to be some that are their favorites that they can vote in. But Tailspin uh, attacking now for Planet Express. Yesterday he was uh, playing very very well defensively. A couple of maps he was the offensive all star as well. So we'll see if his laser is uh, going to be a little bit better than Buds this morning as uh, these players get warmed up and really into this uh, competitive mode. Take a look at the defensive position here uh, by the guys from Colwyn as uh, they're kind of just playing the hiding game. 
game and they're putting uh, Tailspin in this position where he has to make a move and he is able Easy to shot. land one shot there on AKM and Nine needs to follow this one up with a second shot. He's only going to have 10 seconds oh. there and he's going to miss a shot on wins as well. Lots of action going down oh. over there but Tailspin's able to nail that last hit and he is going to have two armor. This is a situation that he should win as he moves into the goal and there he's able is. to cap it two to two. Nice stuff there by Planet Express as they managed to uh, pretty much answer back there which was a desperate attack that they needed and now Sturmy's going to be on the attack. Let's see what the quick legend can bring here for this team. Obviously, a lot of pressure on him in this tournament. He, uh, you know, winning ESWC was one thing, but coming here to win IPL5 is going to be a completely new challenge. And uh, everyone's playing like uh, top form, which is quite awesome to see. Yeah, I mean, these guys, Colin, flew all the way across the world to come participate here, and they are not going to let this go uh, easily. They're definitely going to try their best with Tailspin usually playing in this cubby. Sturmy is being a little bit cautious. There, he does Whoa. snap the shot on him. Uh, I think what he was doing actually there, you can hear that footstep sound, and Sturmy was jumping up onto the ledge over and over to basically bait him out and, uh, you know, caught him by surprise the third or fourth time that he jumped up there. So sound definitely playing a big factor already in this map. Ooh. Oh, Sturmy down to two armor, but he does take out Vince Buds uh, suddenly going to have to be the clutch performer here at the goal again. We'll see if he's got it in him. Last time wins. Was able to take him out. Buds rushes at him after the laser goes oh. down, but can't get back behind the goal in time. Sturmy taking that attacking round, and Colwyn is suddenly up 3-2. to two. Yeah, Buds committed to that one as he uh, saw that, you know, he had the first rocket, but he kind of hesitated on that second shot. Either that or I couldn't tell if he didn't have any more rockets left, but like I highly doubt it. He, he had to have at least one or yeah, two he, more. Yeah, uh, she shot that first one, and the second one hit the floor just in front of Sturmy and uh, just did not have enough time to get back to the goal. That was a good challenge, though, nonetheless, by Buds. But now it's going to be up to Vince here as uh, he's been a little, you know, hot and cold in this tournament, but perhaps, you know, he can step it up here. Uh, of course, you know, you want to step it up in the semifinals. That's for certain as uh, Vince is going to throw down a shot, not able to connect with it. And he knows that he, at this point in time, he needs to just pretty much pick one defender off, at least by the, uh, you know, 10 second mark. That's right. He's not actually got any eyes. Oh, wow. Good shot there from Vince. 32 meters on a very, very short uh, little window of opportunity there against Sturmy. We've got AKM and Wins playing back near the goal. Uh, one of them revealing himself now. Actually, both players off of the goal. This could be interesting for Vince. He's actually just going to go for it, but it looks like this may have been predetermined or premeditated, I should say, uh, by the AKM and Wins combo. These brothers. Oh, oh my goodness, wow. Vince. Landing all three lasers. I thought that was a pretty clever tactic, but Vince had none of it. He is just going to eliminate all of them instead. <laughs> That's exactly what Planet Express needed him to do, especially at this point in the early game here. Three to three now, and we only have one defensive round one between both teams. <laughs> that was the first one. So now it's going to be AKM up for his uh, second attempt here on the attack. So let's see what he could do here as he's just going to, oh, again, oh. hit early. That was going to be a bad move there for AKM, but a great hit for Buds as he needs to play this one smart. You can see Planet Express, they really don't play that right side they want you to get control of that area they want you to believe you have control <laughs> of it because if you try and challenge this oh. out of the cubby oh. you're going to be in for a pleasant surprise but uh, oh wait a minute the wow, uh, pleasant surprise shot. fell on vince as he got he gets taken out there now it's going to be 2v1 but he is going to have two armor left wow, and it now will be a 1v1 and tailspin's going to be the last one left alive here can they answer back on the attack a laser getting thrown down but nothing connects as akm is going to be facing Whoa, off against tailspin look at this jump there nice work but he was not able to connect and this is a scary spot for Tailspin to be in as it oh. is being challenged here. Oh. And nice defense there by Tailspin to end that run there for AKM Planet Express with a defensive round win. I can't believe that. I, I just wanted to point out AKM was the Shoot Mania Esports MVP of ESWC just a month ago. And uh, I really thought he was off, off on the right foot here, let, you know, landing those two lasers very, very quickly. Uh, really good shots with narrow windows of opportunity. I thought, you know, AKM is definitely going to be able to take this down. And then the slick little move hop up onto the bridge. But uh, Tailspin, you know, just stayed patient, stayed hidden long enough and, uh, you know, waited for AKM to take a couple shots before taking the leap out and uh, popping him with those last two rockets. Yeah. That was actually very good coordination there by Tailspin. You know, he had to be careful, obviously, because, you know, AKM's laser is just phenomenal. But now it's going to be Buds here, the leadoff Whoa. attack for Planet Express. And look at the pressure here from behind. Do you see as, where those uh, rockets yeah, came from? Yeah, yeah. That was actually kind of <laughs> saying the trajectory came from behind Tailspin. So he needs to be careful there because he knows that a defender can uh, actually get that access. And Buds just cannot seem to hit a laser right now, which is not particularly good. But the goal can be captured. Oh, and Buds is going to be able it. to cap it, making it 5-3 to three and tipping that. the odds in the favor of Planet Express. Tailspin playing great on defense, by the way. Want to point this one out here. He's actually five defensive rockets landed, but all three members of Planet Express, now that Buds had secured that attack round win, all have attack rounds 
in place, and that is a great thing for them to have. Now it's going to be up to Wins here. He was the one who kind of set the tone for Colwyn um, after, uh, you know, of course, after the failed attack run for AKM. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh. Long distance laser, that 46 meter hit, but he is going to lose one, so that is not going to be as good as he, he would have hoped. Tailspin with the challenge, and he needs to be careful here as uh, Wins is uh, going to play this one as slick as he possibly can. It looks like uh, Wynn's also trying to you know, grab a free shot before committing to actually running in there. Tailspin knows that the laser is down, so he's going to run out, uh, try and drop a few rockets, can't actually manage to connect, and now it's uh, still a duel. It's eating a lot of time in the wow. bottom, but Wynn's just does a nice drive-by. Suddenly, we're down to just one defender. It's going to be Vince playing near the goal somewhere. There he is back at the column, working his way up. That was Wins, a poor play. Easy. Hops on him and, and smacks him down with that laser. Suddenly, we've got three attacking rounds successful on either side. Granted, you know, I mean, Vincent didn't have many options. You know that he's going to go for that uh, top bridge every time because of just the fact that you have such great coverage up there and you can shoot the laser right through, uh, you know, the fence. But it, it's really unfortunate that Vince just came out there, uh, you know, blindly. Had to had to just pay attention a little bit more on that one, in my personal opinion. Um, but uh, nevertheless, though, Vince did the best that he can. And uh, now it's going to be up to Tailspin here to continue to pad this lead, or actually not pad the lead, but extend the lead after they had just got back uh, because of Bud's attack run here. Let's see what Tailspin can do. All right, yeah. Three attacking rounds on either side means that we're essentially at a tie game. Even though the score at the top of the map says five to four, uh, you need to win by two in Shoot Mania Elite. So attacking rounds are what allow you to wow. do that. Tailspin getting a free shot on AKM. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Only Sturmy left back at the point. And uh, Tailspin, very good job there. For, uh, on his part, wow, Sturmy with that long wow. defensive rocket. I was going to say very good uh, job by Tailspin on his part for identifying that tactic that they were using. Basically, they had one player hidden here, right next to that electric water sort of spot, one player at the column, and then Sturmy was playing uh, in the rear, basically, so that whenever someone hops down onto the goal, time you know begins uh, counting down. Basically, they just close on, in on him from all three sides, and that didn't actually work against Buds. Buds just hopped on the goal and was able to do it. Tailspin had the right idea and a good start, but Sturmy uh, just too good there from the from the goal. Yeah, that was some great goal point defense there indeed. Now it's going to be Sturmy's time to attack because he knows he's going to have some opposition potentially in here, of course. But uh, we're going to see what happens as uh, Sturmy just decides, you know, I'm going to take my time and not to challenge this fight, but Tailspin has other plans as he goes out for the challenge as soon as that laser is shot off there. Um, of course, you know, shooting another laser not able to connect now it's going to be oh. a tailspin versus Sturmy oh. and a nice win there for tailspin that's exactly Ow. what they needed and a second one for tailspin so he needs to be careful here because Sturmy could potentially get him and oh. oh nice rocket landed there by tailspin to end that run for Sturmy great play there now it is going to be up to Vince let's see what he could do is he kind of put Planet Express back into this game with that attack round win that he had on his first run um, and now Vince on the attack here for PX of course you know uh, I was saying Vince was a little hot and cold earlier but granted, when you get those attack round wins, that uh, automatically makes you hot. So let's see if Vince could uh, replicate that once again. Yeah, Vince is a great defender back at the pole. Uh, his attack rounds are not as numerous as Bud's, <laughs> for example. But uh, when they do come in, they definitely are great supporting uh, ability of a of third attacker. So Vince, if he can eliminate a defender early, uh, he should have you know really good odds at finishing the round. We'll see if uh, he's going to isolate a defender here. No, actually nobody in that defender's mm. cubby. We'll see if Vince is going to loop around and do the same sort of thing that Tailspin did, but uh, we'll see also if uh, AKM and Wins have formulated something different. The time is counting down. Wins and Sturmy approaching from oh, different wow. angles, and that just did not work out. Uh, Vince missed a couple of lasers that uh, definitely set him back as far as the way that Colwyn was setting up defensively there, ready to uh, swarm him. Yeah, pretty much what happened was that they cornered Vince completely. You saw it there happen at the end, but the way that they set up was they actually had one guy hanging out over by the fence, another one right inside of the room near the goal, and one around the backside of that alley. And uh, that was some great coordination there by the guys of uh, Colwyn to end that one. So now AK, uh, yeah, AKM on the attack here, excuse me, as we're going to see uh, if he can extend this lead for Colwyn. Colwyn, the ESWC champs. AKM is a solid player with a great laser, and perhaps he can uh, you know do that once again. Uh, of course, so the pressure is going to be on both of these teams as this is the semifinals game one you want to set the uh you want to set the tone early of course and uh seems as if akm is just gonna pretty much get the lay oh. of the land here but he is going to see some rockets and oh some activity oh. going on behind and i saw that one developing his tailspin with the triple tap taking out akm that was a great plan they kind of did uh you know a similar a similar thing there uh you know against akm they they pretty much just uh you know trapped them which was a great idea there by planet express yeah, and tailspin himself 
has 12 defensive rockets. That's uh, just two less than the entire team of Colwyn. So let's see if Buds now, uh, he was their hot attacker yesterday, getting multiple rounds against every opponent they played. I saw some games where he actually had three successful attacking rounds. That was the one against a uh, TCM, I believe. Yeah, I think so. So Buds uh, really on fire yesterday. We'll see if he can, you know, wake up a bit. Uh, earlier, his attacking round did not actually work out. He did have one successful attacking round, though, where he hopped on the goal with all three defenders still standing. It's, uh, it's a lot easier to if uh, it's a lot easier to win the round if you can just shoot the guys uh, <laughs> rather than, you know, having to risk the, uh, the scary jump onto the goal at the end. Of course. And now the goal is about to become live with three seconds on the clock. Buzz is going to make his way in. A lot Ooh. of pressure put on him, and he was not able to do anything as he tried to time it as he would hop on the pad right away to be able to camp it with that uh, one, minute, one, one second and a half of time that he has. But uh, he just really couldn't do it there. And now it's going to be wins on the attack for Colwyn. You know, he did have the uh, ability to get two attack round wins. Perhaps he can extend that over to three. Let's see what's going to happen here. Expect the flurry here from Planet Express. Wins is definitely expecting as he's dropping back a little bit. And a lot of activity going on. He is going to throw down a laser and not able to connect with it. And uh, Wins just going to take his time here. Uh, of course, you know, granted, he is going to try and see if he can pick off a defender early, which would be a big win for them. Um, but, uh, you know, he still has plenty of time to work with here. All right, as he moves forward, he's going to check out uh, the cubby. There was really no one showing themselves there. Uh, Tailspin and Buds are down near the goal. I'm not sure. There is another defender actually back there. It's Vince hopping up and taking a couple of shots. Wins is going to try and isolate him, but misses the laser. That definitely would have helped him out to uh, take out Vince alone over there and still retain all three armor. But Vince, Tailspin, and Buds all still standing. Vince gets eliminated at the close point. Tailspin playing back at the goal. Ten seconds left to be able to capture. Wins is going to go for it. He actually takes out Tailspin. Buds, it's going to be all down to him. Can he land three rockets in time? No, he oh. cannot. And wins uh, with three attacking rounds to his name in this first map in this best of five series. Now Colwyn is suddenly at game point. Uh, that's the best possible time to take an attacking round, for essentially. Sure. Uh, and wins has done it for Colwyn. Tailspin, we're going to watch his entire attacking round from his point of view, as he is going to have to be successful here to keep this game alive. Yeah, you know, the uh, takeaway for that one for Planet Express was that they really just did not have the coordination um, on that uh, to, to, like, create that flank. You know, they were missing those uh, those rockets, those very key critical rockets. And now it is going to be up to Tailspin to kind of keep the game alive. He has been known to clutch it in the past. And this is, uh, you know, a better time than ever here to clutch it. Rockets flying everywhere. Tailspin somehow managed to avoid. Oh. He's going to be able to nail one there on AKM. Their score is 7-8. If he wins this, they will tie the game up with four attack round wins. It's a very offensive game that we're seeing here as Tailspin He's going to try and see if he can find another opponent. Uh -oh. And oh, oh, he misses it. But wait a minute, though. The rocket's flying everywhere. And oh, Tailspin no. gets taken out. And Colwyn takes game number one with a score of 9-7. to seven. Tailspin just couldn't seem to get it together there. But uh, he did his absolute best. You know, he missed that one laser in the back, which uh, in that little back alley, that really cost him. He could have landed that one. But, uh, you know, it is what it is as the uh, game is over. And now we're going to have our next map. What is, uh, what is it going to be, Josh? Uh, looks like Archways is actually going to be the vote for Planet Experience. Express Interesting. In, in the Best 5 series. You know, the losing team picks the next map. So Archways will be up next. We're going to go to a short break and hopefully bring a game two right on the other side.